everyone, this is a replacement of a Kohler GP7685 wine cartridge. I purchased it off Amazon, off a Great Us, and uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to remove it and replace it. So first thing we do, take off the cap off the handle, and then we're going to take the handle off itself. And the rest of it is just removing the escutcheon and trim plates. And then once we start on that, just got two screws on the main trim plate. And that removes, and that is going to expose the retaining ring on the uh, cartridge itself. That gets it has two screws on the sides. Now I remove those, and then just pull out gently on the old cartridge to remove that. Once we take that off, you're going to find out that there's also a pressure balance cartridge behind that. We remove that and uh, discard that. And now we have the new one. We're going to replace the O-rings on everything. Make sure they all go well into the grooves and uh, that they won't pop out. Now on this uh, pressure balance, there's no up or down. Uh, it can go up or down. You just have to make sure that the uh, side to side is in the correct orientation. And that just slips right back in and uh, lands into the valve body. Once that's done, we'll take our cartridge and uh, we'll have to install O-rings on that, on the hot and the cold. And that's just done by compressing those on into place. And then we're going to lubricate it and make sure that, uh, uh, that the uh, final assembly is done well. So I use a silicone grease and uh, just make sure a little bit uh, goes a long ways and uh, just spread that over any exposed o-rings on the uh, cartridge and uh, that'll ensure it slipping back into the wall fine okay and then we want to make sure the orientation on the cartridge is correct there's a little notch black notch at the top of the uh, uh, cartridge. I want to make sure that's in the up position. Now they did send a new retaining ring with the uh, new cartridge. I found I couldn't use that because it had uh, some threaded screw holes on that so I took the old retaining ring which is stainless steel and is still in good shape so I put that back in place making sure that one hole is at the 10 o'clock position and then just putting the, the new screws that's provided as well. And once that's done, we turn the water back on and test the unit and everything worked great. Didn't have any leaks and uh, is a good installation. And I hope this helps you on your purchase of the uh, replacement cartridge.